All right, part two of this build. Well, I should have recorded part one, but I didn't. So I will explain to you guys what I did here. Uh, this fender was mounted onto a bracket. It's a simple bracket made of a uh, steel corner bar, whatever you call this thing, from Home Depot. Uh, what I did was measure it, cut it, welded it, I mean, screwed it onto the fender and then bolted onto the fender and then uh, welded it onto the swing arm right here. And that the top of this uh, dry shaft over here and we're making a bracket, uh, a strut that would go from the fender and mount it onto on top of where the shots go at the bottom. These, these steel bars are all came from Home Depot. I kind of made this weird bracket right here, welded it on, but it held on pretty good. So um, now what we're doing is exhaust. Uh, it had a strange angle that went from here, and it kind of went up like that. But I kind of want to keep it straight. So what I'm doing, I cut it from where the uh, angle would be. This is a twinch exhaust pipe from AutoZone. 18 inches long, 2 inches diameter. Uh, I fit perfectly in here. What I'm doing is leveling it off. Uh, it looks pretty straight using my trusted Harbor Freight jack here. Um, and I'm doing both sides the same way. What we're doing is welding uh, this onto the 2 inch pipe, which goes to like 178, I believe. Goes into this piece. And so we'll be welding here, here. Just tacking it, and then I'm going to take it out and weld the whole thing. I was completing this welding for the exhaust and after that just wrapping it we also got to get longer brake lines because with these bars right here on the 87 on the shadow 700 yes this is a 700 they're too short so i use uh eight inch risers ape hangers from these are eight inch ape hangers from amazon pretty cheap um but the brake calipers would not go on because the brake line is about an inch too short. So let me take it out, switching that. Then we'll finish up paint job. Also did a basic gray and add some decals on that. I'm going to be clear coating on top of this so you can keep it nice and sturdy in there. But uh, seat bracket, pretty easy. Um, what I did, uh, stuck in there. Okay. Oh. This seat came from. I always use this company, La Rosa Design. This is they used to be about fifty bucks. Now they're like ninety, but they're still good quality seats. Using them on my bikes. I also welded a steel bar across here and just drilled two holes. I'm not gonna be using springs on this because uh, I made the seat too high, so I didn't like the look of it. So this will go straight. Oh, in the seat, the original mounting bolts would not fit. What they did, they would touch. To graze this rails, so I couldn't mount them, so what I did I grabbed another piece of sheet of a uh, steel metal sheet and uh, just pretty much you can see it there. Welded it, I mean, not welded, uh, bolted onto this, and also drilled two holes and added to uh, another screw here, another bolt right here, so I can be able to mount it and it fit perfectly. So, and uh, this thing also was too short, I don't know if you can see it here, so we get a good view here. So this little piece right here would be up to right here. That's how they do. I didn't want to mess with it too much. So I just welded another piece of um, same metal I used for this piece at the bottom. I will measure it and weld it to make it a little longer. Drill the hole there so I can be able to mount the seat up in that original uh, tank. Well, so other than that, it's almost done. This bike was kind of done, but not really. A uh, guy that had it before me just cut the back end out. And that's all he did, so yeah. I'm making it a nice little bobber. Like I said, this seat, I use them in all my bikes. I have this one, same seat. I've had this for years, never ripped, no discoloration, nothing, just works just fine. Use it in this one also, looks perfect. This is a V Star 1100. Had a crappy tank, so we ended up doing a uh, uh, 
a sports tank on it and uh, swap the carburetors out also for a uh, Makuni HRS 42 knockoff works perfect I had in that bike for years and never did me wrong and almost double the power of this bike I'm assuming and that's a 650 I'm assuming this is gonna be even stronger because it's 1100 uh, you know, I usually uh, thing came from like Etsy or something you can buy them on eBay but they're like 150 or something but they work great you mount them on it converts your double carb to a single which works way better in my opinion some people might think differently but I think mine is fire I mean this bike right here is a 650 and it runs faster we'll smoke this 1100 right here I've tested before and it worked so next today also I'll be welding later on same setup exhaust on this uh, 86 VT 1100 I already have a video of this up but I'm converting the uh, Airbox, and instead of putting the original airbox cover, which is it looks like a tank, it's not really a tank, into a actual sports tank, so I'll get double the fuel. I'll be having fuel coming from here into the actual fuel tank under the seat. So yeah, um, still working at it. This one I'm gonna be doing an angle. I want this exhaust going up, so this is a 60 degree angle. It's going to be going up like this, like so. I think it'll look nice that way. Some sissy bars later on, but yeah, for now. I'll come back with the video. Actually, I'm not gonna post the video of me welding this because you know, everyone knows how to weld, so it's not a welder tutorial, just kind of what I'm doing. If you guys like the video, like, subscribe, be appreciated. Thanks.